everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kathleen and in today's video I am going to be doing my first impressions on the Makeup Forever. This is the HD Face Essential Palette. It is the newest one that they came out with. So I think today what I'm going to do is I'm going to use like so right now on my skin I have a foundation on, I have my eyes done. I recently just had a procedure done on my eyebrows so I don't have to worry about penciling them in anymore. Um, and that's it. I have I have a little bit of lip balm on and, but I don't have any uh, concealer on. I don't have any blush on. I don't have any bronzer on or you know anything like that. And what I'm going to do in this palette today is kind of you know, I'm going to do my concealer, I'm going to do um, some contouring, a bronzing, I should say, and then I'm going to use the blush on this so you guys can see how it plays. I have very dry skin, so this is going to work well on me because it's a cream product and anything that's creamy on my skin does very well. So anyway, without any further ado, let's get started. And let me just read to you a little bit about this palette. So they have two different tones. They have a lighter one and they have a darker skin tone. I'll show, leave a picture of the darker one up here in case that interests you. So it's a cream formula. It's a radiant finish, non-comedogenic, natural finish, best for dry combo or normal skin, and it's waterproof. It's easy to use cream palette with multi-shades that can be mixed or create a custom foundation, concealer, bronzer, contour, blush, or highlighter. It's free of parabens, formaldehyde, oh. uh, hydroquinone. Wow, so it's free of anything that's unhealthy. You can actually do a full face with this, it says. Like, I've never used this for to do an entire face. I just feel like it really would be um, very full coverage if I did that. So I just really have used it to conceal, brighten up the eyes. And you know what? I don't even use it that much for contouring or contouring, but I, you know, I could. Sorry, these clips are jabbing me in the ear. Aha, so this one here is actually the highlighter up here is this one. So they don't have names. They just have numbers of what they are on the back of it. So that is actually the highlighter, which I never, that's new. Like I didn't never knew that they had a highlighter, but it's pretty. All right, so I'm going to go in and I'm going to start with doing a concealer. And I think I'm going to, because I'm not that light, I know that much, but I'm kind of like in between these two colors here. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to take a little bit, try to keep it as neat as possible, and I'm going to take my brush, I'm going to take my uh, Sonia G Jumbo Concealer Brush here, and actually I'll bring you in a little closer so you can see how this looks. I don't want to scare you, but let's see how it goes on. I'm going to go in there. see it kind of brightened up that under eye there you can see it's very it's very light let me show you closer yeah so it's nice and creamy so if you have a dry under eye and nothing really like it gets very creasy looking underneath there this probably would be a good fit fit for you and again I use these two numbers I use 102 and 104 on here. 102 and 104, which I mix this color and this color together. All right, good. I think that that's, I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna do the other side. Go in there, kind of mix them together. Or you can take it on, mix it together on the back of your hand if you feel more comfortable doing it that way. You do not need a lot of product. You just need a little bit. A little bit goes a long way, especially with cream products. in there and I don't like a heavy under eye concealer I like that nice and hydrating okay so I have used the other palette for I have used the other palette for concealing so and then for reference I am actually using sorry and for reference I am actually using the HD forever the uh, what is it the hydra glow foundation so if I look very glowy that's the reason why all right, so next, let's go in and 
I'm gonna contour and I'm gonna use, I'm gonna mix these two together here. I'm gonna mix the both of these here. This might be a little too orangey for me. So I think I'm gonna go in and mix those. <clears throat> and I'm gonna actually do this on the back of my hand because I'm gonna have, and I like the fact that I can mix and match these. And then I'm gonna take this brush here, right? This is the Sonia G, which one is this? I would never remember the names of them. It's the mini base brush, right? And I'm gonna go in there. So I put these, I took out some, and I put it on the back of my hand here. And I'm just gonna go in and swirl my brush all the way around in there. So it makes kind of like that color there. And then I'm going to, now I don't always contour, I don't always contour. I do, if I do, it's super light. I don't like, it, it looks too heavy on me, but I do have clients who like it, so. So I'm gonna go around here. And don't get nervous, I'm gonna blend that in. I just wanna kinda of outline what I wanna do. And I like to go right up in the hairline if I'm gonna do this, get it right up in there. Makes your hair dirty, but it's okay. Then come here and kind of pull it in a little bit there. Around, see if there's a little goes a long way. And then I'm just gonna kind of go right across my jawline where my jowls are and blend that in. Okay. Then I'm gonna take my actual concealer brush, my jumbo concealer brush, and I'm gonna just blend that all in. I don't like it looking too hard, but you can see it blends out very nicely. And it leaves a nice hydrating feel on the skin. Sometimes powders, like if you have any fine lines or wrinkles, like the powders just kind of lay in there inside the, the, you know, whatever fine lines you might have. We don't want that. <laughs> we don't want that. I'm gonna have to go on nice and smooth. I really knew that Makeup Forever has like amazing products. I know a lot of makeup artists that use, it's a professional brand. It started out to be a professional brand. I know a lot of, a lot of makeup artists that just use their products because they love them. So it's a high quality product and certainly is worth it. So you can see how that looks on the skin. That's not too heavy. I mean, you can go over with a heavier application, but I don't really like heavier. So comment below, let me know if you used either one of these products, if you've ever used any of the Makeup Forever products, and what was your, you know, what was your take on it? Did you like them? Did you not like them? Kind of give us some feedback. Maybe we can help somebody else here. Go right there across that drawline. And yeah, if you ever take your bronzer and just kind of go there, Let's see, where's my, my gels are right here, right? Those pieces right there. Just go in there and kind of shade them out. You can kind of bring it up a little bit too. And then you can blend it out. It's all about blending, right? All right, so that is the shade that is number, I think it's 314 and 208 that I used. Anyway, it was these two colors here. This top one, which is a little bit cooler, and then I did mix it with the one that's a little bit warmer underneath it. So you can see it's a nice range of cool and warm shades, depending on whatever your skin tone is. And if you're neutral, more like me, like you can just feel free to mix them together. All right, so next I'm gonna go, and I am going to pick a blush. Let's go with this number here, this one here, this pinky one here, pinky peachy. They're both pretty much the same shade. One's a little bit deeper, one's a little bit lighter. And then we have these two highlighters here. So I think I'll go and do this and this, and then I'm gonna pick the highlighter, which is this one here. Kind of stay in that, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna do this one and this one. How's that? Okay, good. <laughs> All right, so let's go in there. I'm gonna scoop a little out. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand over here. And you can see, you don't need that much. You don't, go, you don't have to go digging in there. <clears throat> and I'm going to take this brush here. This is the classic uh, Sonia G brush. 
you can see it's got to go in there and I'm going to swirl my brush around and I'm going to go and dab that right there. It's very light, right? Not too heavy. You would think with like how pigment that is there that it would go on the skin like really bright. But it's not. Okay, let's go and do the other side. Now I'm just using whatever's left on that brush and kind of blending it in. You don't need to go, you know, keep dabbing it in there and then having to worry about, you know, pushing it all away. Pretty. Okay, so next I'm gonna go, I'm going to pick up this highlighter here, which is pretty cool, that's new. They have a nice highlighter in here. I'm gonna go in and, so I typically don't do highlighter on my skin because it, you know, it just highlights this part of my eye. Like, I don't really like that. But if you don't have the same issues I do, like here, like I don't wanna put highlighter on there, it's just gonna make that beam. I just want you to see how it goes on. Right, like that there. And it's a very subtle highlight. It's not like blinding. Can you see it? Come down here with it too, so you can see. So yeah, it's a little bit, it's not crazy. I can bring a little bit up here on my brow line. Yeah, so that's the highlighter. That is, these are the two colors I use. This one and this one. Okay, so I use this as the blush, and then I use this as the highlighter. Let me just show you what it looks like on my hand, maybe. Can you see? Yeah, so you can see how pretty. That's very subtle, though. It's not a blinding highlighter where you're like, wow. You know, so even on my textured skin, it's not like, ooh, <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm really not accentuating all of the fine lines and wrinkles, so. I have the rest of my makeup done. I would go in and because I use the HD Glow foundation, which I like, you know what I mean? But there's like, I would take it down a tad. So I would go in with the Givenchy Prism Libre powder and just kind of take down some of these shiny areas where I don't want a lot of shine, like right here. You know what I mean? Like I like healthy glow and skin, but I don't like it beaming like that, okay? And I might go under my eye a little bit just to kind of set it. Not heavy. This is a very finely milled powder. And go in there and just kind of take it down a little bit. Go on here. Yeah. So there you go. That is the Makeup Forever, right? It's the HD Space Essentials Palette. It is in the light to medium. See, this is the other side that you would use a contour, and then this is, uh, you know, you have your highlighter on there, you have your contours, you have your concealers, right? And there it is again. So it's a beautiful palette. It goes on beautifully. If your skin is dry, it's a good fit. So thank you so much for watching. If you gained any value from this video, please consider subscribing, giving this video a thumbs up, and I will see you in my next video.